Hi guys, it's Ricky, and this is Ricky Reveals. <laughs> so, um, I'm getting this, like, selfish energy, like, someone who, no matter all the things that they have done to other people, all the things they've dished out, they still want to be a victim. Like, poor me, poor me. Like, how about you take a moment to realize Taurus and Aries, that's funny. Oh, wow, that's funny. Um, but, you know, take yourself completely out of the victim role or mentality and um, sit and ponder about what you did or the actions you took that got you to where you're at. Um, and realize that there's a lot of people hurt that were actually really good to you and um, did not deserve what you did to them. I know, trust me, like, even though I don't ever intentionally hurt anyone, like, when I've sat back and I've done my shadow work and I've really thought about things in my life, there's people I know that I hurt that I did not mean to hurt. But guess what? Just because I didn't mean to doesn't mean it didn't happen. And... Um, but I owned up to it you know what I mean like there was a couple of people I wrote letters to and like you know I don't I'm not expecting like a response or anything you know what I mean I'm just really wanting to tell you like what I did was shitty like and I'm really sorry about it um, and I hope that you know that you could forgive me and I really hope that you had um that you get uh, you get in life everything that you you want you get the life of your dreams, and um, sorry because of my selfish choices I won't be a part of that. Um, actually, no, I think I'll keep that one, Leo. Um, and one of the people I hurt more than anything. Um, Oh, wow. That's funny. Oh, wow. Well, anyways, <laughs> um, one of the people I've hurt more than anyone, I would say, is someone who, Aquarius, who didn't deserve it at all. They were really, really good to me. Um, but me leaving them was because I was trying not to. I thought that I was a... I felt like I was a fuck up and that um, I didn't deserve the caliber of person that they were. And um, I thought by me being in their life, it was going to take them down or, you know, I mean, not, you know, it was going to, and they didn't deserve to be taken down. Um, because like, even though I had um, got myself like sober and stuff at that point, um, drugs started coming back in my life. Like, cause he worked a third shift job. And um, so the wrong friends started to come back in, then the wrong substances, and I just told myself, it seemed like I couldn't fight, like, the, those people or things coming in into my life. The only thing I could control was whether or not he was hurt and affected by it, um, and so I chose to not let him get hurt and affected by it, and I just left him, which was still shitty. Um, but I was trying to save him from being hurt which in turn got him hurt anyway but yeah so uh, if you know that you're in the wrong just stop like, and if you don't want to make it right fine don't make it right but don't sit there and act like somebody did something to you because no they didn't that just waved something shiny in front of your face and you took the bait. And now because it didn't work out the way you wanted it to, now all of a sudden you're a victim? No. Pisces.
Taurus, Aries, Capricorn. Uh, so, Leo, Aquarius, Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Capricorn. That's crazy. That's like the most prominent zodiac signs that were a part of what I went through last fall. That was basically <laughs> the only thing missing I would say that was um, pretty pr prevalent was um, Sagittarius. But the key players involved in what I went through, um, they're all here. What was I talking about that release on um, pride and ego? Or maybe you have more money than you, um, than people knew, or either you are too prideful to admit you were wrong and make things right, or you were afraid of somebody coming after your money. Oh, four of Wands. You could have been a commitment phobe too. You could have been afraid of marriage. And when you felt like things were getting, um, wow, full of fortune. All right, I was gonna say one thing. Well, that was like commitment phobe, afraid of like you were afraid the connection was getting to that point of going to the next level, and you, you got scared and ran. But now I'm like now that with the wheel of fortune coming out the way that it did, I feel like this is saying when you let go of that pride and ego, and you actually go and you do what's right, which is a little bit of a message I got earlier. Um, you will get married. You will get your wheel of fortune, um, because it's destined for you but you're holding on to something or some things that you're being asked to let go of and you're being punished because you're not letting go of those things but i mean literally like it seems like the minute you um you let go of whatever it is you're gonna walk right into your happiness The High Priestess. Somebody intuitively knows this too. And they're still not doing it. Because they're too busy crying about the past. See, like on the five of cups here, these three, oh, let me see, yeah, these three right here, those are spilled, they're knocked over, there's nothing left in those cups, there's nothing ever, you're, these are never coming back, but these two here, there's still a chance if you would nurture them and you would actually give them attention, that those could flourish, or with it being two cups, there's a relationship behind you that could actually still become what it was meant to be. But you're too busy to cry over these knocked over cups that, yeah, I mean, there's a good chance you probably knocked them over yourself, but they were meant to be knocked over because that right there. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll take it. Um, the Fool and Strength. So, uh, you got the strength to do it. Knight of Pentacles again. And I'm using a different deck than I did in the reading earlier. Um, he's not in the reverse this time, though. <laughs> um, if you would just take the leap of faith, muster up the strength to take the leap of faith, I think you already know what, I mean, what to do. 
excuse me, or who it is you need to go to, if you would just go to them and do what you already know you need to do, maybe it's offer them restitution. Maybe it's offering them just an apology. Maybe it's offering them a commitment. I mean, whatever it is that you already know, and I'm going to say commitment, <laughs> because the Knight of Pentacles here, he's holding a pinnacle, like, ready to give it to somebody, and then this is the hand of God, like, wanting to, to hand deliver a blessing to you. Um, and that is actually the Ace of Pentacles is what ends the reading. Um, but if you would just stop crying about the past and go to this person, your life would change almost instantly. Like, it's, like, in the Six of Pentacles here. It's like, God has it in his hand already. It's there. It's waiting. See, because when you show up on this, like, we'll go through this little gate right here, God's just going to lower his hand down. Like, as soon as you walk through, it's going to, like, you're going to line up right, align right to it. But until you get there, God's just going to be like... <laughs> It could be because you're refusing to close out a cycle. Maybe, um, maybe there's an, like, a, an ex, or maybe not, they weren't an ex, I don't know, but, There's so many things it could be. So I'm just going to say, you're refusing to close out a cycle because it did fall out of my hands like that. And you're refusing to... It might be you're refusing to accept defeat. But Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Do you really want to stay in that kind of energy? That's lack all the way. Um, because the cycle you were in like was not good it was a very karmic cycle that you were just meant to learn lessons through and now that you've learned the lessons and god's ready to hand you the blessings you're still just like oh, well maybe if i do this or maybe if i do that instead of doing what you've been told to do uh i don't think it See what? Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Why is strength here? Oh come on! too many like to take it but it was an interesting little story oh gosh okay why is strength here why is strength in the reading four of swords judgment You're afraid of this person judging you. That's one thing. And the judgment you're already under might be a, almost too hard to bear. And they're afraid of. But I'm telling you, if there's something that this person, that's a, that you're a, your person or whatever, um, that's involved, like the person you need to go to for whatever reason, um, if there's something they don't know and they find out from somebody other than yourself, it's going to make it worse. <clears throat> if you could muster up the strength, i.e. what I'm... <laughs> um, and do it yourself, yeah, it's still probably going to hurt them. But it won't hurt nowhere near as bad as it will if someone else tells them. Because not like that, like, someone else telling them, 
they could add shit to it and um then there's nothing you're gonna be able to do about it when you finally get around to facing this person uh, well maybe you just won't ever get around to it or you know what It might be saying the strength to walk away from your past. Um, closing out all the all those other relationships, um, and literally giving this person a chance to be your person. Um, but you're under heavy judgment, whatever um, this is. And I think it's because you did somebody dirty um, who did nothing wrong to you. And then to go back to somebody who had already been dirty to you before. And, um, and that they were just dirty to you all over again. So you hurt somebody who didn't deserve it in order just to go back and um, live with karma all over again. And this just fell out like like this, I guess. And it's a six of cups. Past life soulmate. An equal give and take relationship. Everything you wanted, you finally had gotten it. And you walked away from it to go back to go touch the stove and see if it was still hot. Okay, what is this ace of pentacles? Why is the ace of pentacles here? The devil. The eight of wands. Death. And the page of pentacles. Five of wands. This page of pentacles, it's either involving a Capricorn or a Scorpio. I'll tell you that much. Um, or messages between a Capricorn and a Scorpio. Um... Maybe a Scorpio wants to offer something to a Capricorn. Um, but the thing is, if that's the case, don't take it. Because this Knight of Pentacles, it wants to offer you something too. But um, I think this... the Scorpio or this um, Page of Pentacles or whatever, I think they're going to get to you before the Knight of Pentacles does. But I think it's because they know what the Knight of Pentacles is going to offer you, and they're going to try and offer you something that they think you'll take before you get the second offer. Um, and if, especially if it involves contracts, like legal contracts, um, if you accept this offer... Then when the Knight of Pentacles comes in with their offer, you won't be able to take it because you're already legally bound to whatever this is. Oh, wow. Somebody has definitely juggled over... Um, over this king of pentacles they've juggled back and forth whether or not to give you the justice that you deserve um
Give me one more of this. Wow. Seven of Swords. So, I'm taking it as they stole from you. And they've, they're, they've juggled whether or not to give it back what they've stolen from you. Because in order to give it back to you, they have to admit they took it. Um... And I don't think they want to have to, to admit that. Like, with up here in the beginning, to, holding on too tightly to the pride and ego. Um, but yes, in order to give it back to you, even though it's just it's the just thing to do, and they do want to do it, but when they do it, that means they have to admit that they stole it from you to begin with. And the whole reason they not wanted to let go of their pride or let go of the what they wanted to win. They wanted to win at all cost. And um, so by then giving this back to you, and maybe actually this might they might be court ordered to have given it back to you, and they haven't done it because they know you don't know they've been court ordered to give it back to you, and. Um, because they don't want you to know that you've, you've, you've won. They haven't done what they're supposed to do yet. But they're going to have to do it. Like, I mean, that or go to jail. <laughs> so I guess which is, which is more important, your freedom or your pride? Well then, <laughs> as I say that, King of Wands comes out and Page of Cups. That's what it doesn't get me. I mean, I think God, like, I mean, obviously we all are insecure about certain things. But, um, but I thank God that I have never, I've, I've always had a really, I, I like who I am. You know what I mean? I, I, I have, I, I, yeah, I definitely went through some self, um, self-hatred, self-loving. I mean, and I've gone through the process, I guess, like anybody else, but. And I've never thought too highly of myself either. Wow. The tower comes out. Um, this person, though, it's weird. It's like a borderline narcissist. Because, like, they see themselves as the king of wands and that they, ha they have to win. They have to have victory at all cost. But yet, when it comes to love... They're an insecure little puppy. No. Somebody's about to get a tower to wake their ass up. I can tell you that much. Or, or the tower was this um, court case that deemed that they had to pay restitution back to whoever they um, stole from. Could be a Taurus. The Hierophant and the Nine of Swords. Wow. See, my thing is... This person should know that you know already. They know you have a very heightened psychic ability or a very heightened intuition so and they i'm sure by like being with you or like being you know like if whether you guys were in a relationship or if you guys were like just friends or family um they sh they were close enough to you to where they should know that you know things without having to be told and that you are protected and god does love you so they should know that 
you probably already know this anyway, so they should probably make it right as soon as possible. It's not funny. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, along with the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Two of Wands, to clarify the High Priestess. So this person rejected you um, because they listened to somebody that they trusted. And that person was lying to them because that person wanted what you had and that they couldn't have you. They would take your partner. So they took your partner because you wouldn't give in to him and now your partner sees that. Or they see it that you or they know that you know and so something's happened that's um outed what they've done or the reason why they did it and um so now your person and this person um they are not in a very good place right now and it's simply because your person was lied to about everything. Could be a Virgo. Yep. Your person's been enlightened. And now there's a huge fight going on between several different people. And um, you are highly, you're, you're wounded. Page of Wands. Sorry, it's not funny. I just I never really pay attention to the way he looks on that. Just staring at his wand. Yeah. I think even though he's still coming up as a page, um, he's learned his lesson. Definitely. Uh, learned his lesson about listening to other people and not trusting you or trusting his partner and and going to other people. Oh, wow. King of Cups. Yeah, letting other people dictate his relationships and his choices um, instead of letting his heart and his mind and his prayers dictate the choices he makes in love or actually if he lets other people have that much control over his love life then he probably lets him have that much control over other aspects of his life too and now he's seeing that he never should have he never should have let those certain people have that much power over him nothing will come out of the situation boy of course moon I think that's saying that this person, your person, is now realizing that this third party that they chose or um, third party that they listened to, staying with them or staying stuck in that mind frame, nothing will ever come out of, out of that. He's got to break free of it. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Confidence is your key to success. New Moon and Leo. Emotions are running high. Believe in the impossible. And balance spirituality and practicality. With step out of your comfort zone at the bottom. That irritates me so bad. 
what is your comfort zone and now like i you know, honestly like a couple months ago i was just like i've given up everything and if i didn't give it up it was taken from me so i'm not comfortable at all so what are we what comfort zone are you talking about and i really started and i still don't know what comfort zone that is um maybe that's why i'm still stuck in <laughs> but i'm not mad about it anymore and i'm just like whatever <laughs> God will reveal it to me when he needs me to know it, or else. Because nothing that is for you will pass you by. I know that much, but I'm tired of being stuck. I'll tell you that much. I'm ready to move into something or for something to break free or break through. <laughs> nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. And, um,. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. But yeah, I mean, I'm just like ready to. I don't know, like, see the fruits of my labor or get onto a new project or something. I just, but obviously it ain't time yet because some other things that are playing a factor have not played out or something. I don't know. Bring love into the situation, Aquarius. Okay. Go deeper, New Moon and Scorpio. So, maybe that's like saying, keep doing the healing, keep doing the um, the shadow work. You just got to dig deeper. There's something further down that you haven't gotten to yet. Trust all will be well, New Moon and Virgo. Find full Moon and Libra. Find the balance. So whatever the situation is, it is definitely it's it's meant to be or it's meant to be fixed or because all trust all will be well and find a balance it just need, there needs to be a balance it's out of balance the situation's out of balance and it needs to be balanced um and once it's balanced i think all will be well uh reflect on your priorities last quarter moon in aquarius so you just got to decide what's most important to you and then Put those things at the top of your priority list and don't let anything or anyone come in between the, what's on top of your priorities and yourself. I mean, be proud of yourself, Taurus. Last quarter moon in Taurus. Take a reality check. Take a reality check. Full moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. Last quarter moon in Capricorn. And think it through. New moon in Gemini. And know you are loved, New Moon and Libra. I just saw 33, 33 on the clock. No, it was 33, 23. Sorry. But I thought it was 33, 33 for a second. Now there's 33, 33. <laughs> Guess it doesn't really count, though, when you're staring at, the, <laughs> staring at it, waiting for it. Vulnerability and freedom. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Your vulnerability will set you free. And that's probably with this person. Like, the only way you're ever going to transmute this situation or uh, is to be have courage and bravery and to be vulnerable. Because if you're not authentically and genuinely vulnerable with this person, they're probably going to tell you to fuck off anyways. Because clearly, whatever it was, it was deep. It was very deep. Uh, harmony and resolution, compassion. So maybe both of you guys are gonna have something you're gonna have to say that. Well, not only are you gonna need compassion, but you're gonna need to hold your composure too. Um, uh, if this is really this connection is as deep as I, I it looks. Uh, on paper <laughs> on like in the reading as if it's as deep in real life as it is in this reading you're, you're gonna get through it but the thing is you gotta be honest you can't like sit there and try to like tweak this or tweak that because you don't want it to be as bad as, sound as bad as it is well if you don't completely come 
hundred percent honest and genuine and authentic, you're gonna fuck it up anyways. Uh, strength and guidance, forgiveness and understanding, romance and connection, and signs and reminders. So have the courage and the bravery to be vulnerable, to um, forgive and understand, to hold your composure and show compassion because this is for this is giving you both strength and guidance to know that you are loved by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're loved by each other, and your connection will, it's going to only get stronger because you guys refuse to give up on each other. Signs of reminders, so, and friendship and union. <laughs> um, you're never going to forget each other if you don't work this out. Um, and working it out might just be coming together and saying, this is what happened and I'm sorry. This is what happened and I'm sorry. I really wish things could be different. You know, I mean, whatever. But if you don't come to some kind of um, amends, this, this situation, I think it'll haunt both of you the rest of your life. Even if like one person was at fault and the other person didn't do anything. I think that person, you're both going to be haunted by this. this. The connection's too real. It's too deep. You guys both, I think, will build this connection the rest of your life. And what what might have been if you don't try. And divine timing is at play. So I guess that's another thing I, I should say is the fact that you can't force anything and you can't... It, well, I was saying that earlier, like, well, I was like, you know, I think there's, when I was saying I feel stuck and I'm ready just to move on to the next thing, um, but there must obviously be something else going on that's, that has to take place before I can, I can move anywhere or I, or whatever. Um, and it's divine timing. There's certain things that have to play out that haven't played out yet. And even though it's probably frustrating the hell out of you, it's. There's more important things than just you. Well, I mean, not not more important, but there's more people and more things involved than just you. So you got to remember that. Like, this situation is affecting a lot of people, and um, or a lot of people are involved, and a lot of things have to play out in order for the right things to come together at the right time. You are protected by the um, the angels, and you are loved. Bye each other and God, the angels, and just trust God and you'll get through it. There's a good chance you'll get through it together or come back together. Um, but if you guys don't get back together or the relationship doesn't continue on as a union, um, you guys will heal. And you will, I think, I think you'll be back in a relationship, to be all the way honest, with me saying what I was saying and then that being at the bottom, uh, transformation. So this connection was in need of something. Something had to either, A, something had to transpire in one of you guys or both of you guys um, personally in order to strengthen the connection or in the connection itself, something had to like be transformed in order for it to last a lifetime the way it was intended so this was a period of transformation uh, it looks like it's coming to an end and now it is time to face each other and um don't let your pride and ego get in the way because there's a lot of love here and there's i think a purpose outside of you guys there's a, a purpose for this connection outside of you guys i love you guys if you love me as much as i love you please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video